Hi, <clears throat> I'm Phyllis from the Doll Corner and today I want to show you how to put a little doll kit together. This is an Apple Valley doll and it's a beautiful doll. It comes in a kit and I've had this one around for quite a while and I decided that maybe it was time I put them t together. So what you have here what you get in your kit is a head, two arms, two legs, and a few of these. Sometimes there's, you need five, there's usually an extra one to put in the package. <clears throat> what you do is you thread these ties Move this up a little bit so you can see better thread this tie through here and here sometimes it'll wants to get caught on the seam so just reverse it if you're going this way bring it in from the back and come around this way it'll depend on which way the seam is lying so the same goes here, and sometimes when you try to get through there, you don't get in the right spot. So if you go this way, <coughs> it usually works better. And then you just stuff this, put a little stuffing in the leg like this. on this one I guess. <clears throat> Stuff it in. Get your leg, make sure the big toe is heading towards the center of the body. You can see how the toes are together there. And you have the right foot in the right spot and the left one. And you just Zip that that'll work better. <clears throat> Usually they zip pretty good, but that one didn't seem to wanna you can sure you get it tucked into that groove. Right, just like that, and that's all that's to putting the legs on. And the arms are the same way. Now, I like to put a little stuffing in here because if you don't, the stuffing eventually will come out of the this part and go down into the arm. And then you do the same, same with the Making sure we get the right arm and then just tuck it in here and zip it up. Making sure this flat side of the zip is where you poke this through here like this. Can you see that? Just how it and then just pull it tight making sure you get it right in, down into that groove and there's no way it's going to come apart. <clears throat> and then you do the same with your your head. You got a groove in there and pull it tight. Now I need more stuffing in here so I won't zip it up. <clears throat> and this is what it looks like when it's all stuffed up nice and
thumbs need to be adjusted a little, a little bit, but anyway. So you, in minutes you have a little doll, a complete little doll, and then you want a dresser. And being she's a baby doll, I put a diaper on her. this shape for the diaper so it fits nice. This up like this with a little bit of velcro on either side. Holds it nice and snug. And so we don't because we're dressing her up. I made a pair of pantaloons. I made her a pair of pantaloons and I I have a video out on how to make pantaloons for your dolls, so if you want to watch that, I think it's a number two, maybe. <coughs> you can make a petticoat for her if you want. I didn't make one. Now this one I put some little beads on. If I was giving this to a young child, I wouldn't put those on because they might be a choking hazard. I would put something else on it. I put a little squeaker in this one. Doesn't work a hundred percent though. And then she needs some hair. I like the the eyes that she has in there. They're beautiful eyes that the Apple Valley people put in their dolls. If you're interested in buying a kit from them, it's go to Apple Valley Doll Works. Or I think it's A V D W dot com. They have different sizes. This is just a little twelve inch doll, but they have some beautiful dolls that are 20, 22 inches. And then her bonnet. Now I did a video on how to make a bonnet and I have a free pattern out there. If you email me at dollfashion77 at gmail dot com. So she's quite cute when she gets all from just a simple little doll kit. <coughs> now there are other kinds of kits out there. This is one that I've had around for a while too and it's all one piece. The body. Now there's a seam back here. The, the back is two pieces. And then, of course, the arms are. And you do the same thing. You make the leg. You make the leg. And you put it on. Turn it inside out. And it's sometimes very difficult to get the real fine little ones that fit neatly around the leg of these dolls. So I find dental floss is a good thing to tie it with or any strong cord. And then bring your legs back up over and stuff them. Now this one called for her to have a stitch in here so it can move. And then when you have the legs stuffed, turn this back 
and stitch it on the inside and make sure you stitch it a couple of times so it won't come apart and then you can start stuffing your body and then with this is a her chest plate that she makes a beautiful bride doll this one she's got such a nice neckline and you put her eyes in but that's for another video and then you take a little crown give her a wig Anyway, you get the idea. So she makes a nice doll. And then there's a different kind of a head. This is... The hair is molded and colored. And her eyes are painted. And she's got holes in her breastplate here. So you can run a little ribbon through there and stitch it on here. And the same at the back. You can put a little glue to stabilize it as well. The other one, you basically just glue it on. But they make a nice doll. And this one I really like because she's she has high heel shoes. I'm going to make sure that her legs don't get bang together when I'm working with them I'm always make sure to see her nice legs and the high heels and sometimes when I make the pantaloons for these dolls that have legs like this I will put extra padding along here so they won't bang together So they, they come out nice, but yet they won't bang together because very often when they do bang together, they'll break. <coughs> but with a little care, it doesn't happen. So just a little extra padding in there. doesn't take much just to keep their legs from banging together. <coughs> So I hope this has been helpful for you. If you enjoyed it, then give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and then you won't miss my tutorials. And they're fun and easy to do. And thanks for watching. And if you would like a bonnet pattern, email me at dollfashion77 at gmail.com and I will email you a, a, a bonnet pattern to you. And I think that's all for today. We'll talk to you soon. Uh, bye now.